animals and around the world. He's the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we're going to meet a wolf and a baboon. Two <sighs> animals that live in groups. Uh, and what does that mean, live in groups? Well, it means these animals live together. A group of wolves is called a pack. A pack! And a group of baboons is called a troop. Ooh, a troop. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they'll let me join. I could share their food and toys and stuff. Well, I don't know about that. But... Yeah, maybe they have a secret handshake or a song. <laughs> we are the wolves, the mighty, no, mighty no, wolves. No, 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 stinky, or, stinky. Or, or, it's great to be a baboon, especially <sighs> around noon. We'll find out more after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today we find out who has the most fleas. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> Not you, Armstrong. <laughs> the baboon. Oh. An adult baboon may have hundreds of fleas living in his fur. Wow. Baboons spend part of every day grooming each other by picking off fleas, ticks, and other pests. Whoa, that sounds like a party. Mm, the baboon and its fleas. Another one of those itchy animals that'll make you say, That's amazing! See, that's another good thing about joining up with the baboons. I could get rid of my fleas. Yeah, that would be nice. <clears throat> but before we meet more baboons, uh, it's time to bring out our first guest. An animal that lives in a group I may join. Here he is from across North America, Asia, and parts of Europe. Europe. Johnny the Wolf. Owie! Gracious, I miss my wolf pack, but it's mighty good to be here on this program. Whoa, you are so cool. Uh, welcome, Johnny. I'm Jake. Yeah, and I am Stinky. Oh, can I be in your wolf pack? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, somebody lit a fire under this boy. Uh, I don't know about joining up, son, but we wolves are kind of wild. Now, let me show you what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so cool. Now, this here is the valley where my wolf pack lives. And those are some of my good friends, members of my pack. How many wolves live in a wolf pack? Well, usually about 12 or more of us wolves hang out together. Well, do wolves really get along with each other? Well, goodness gracious, yes. We love to wrestle around, wagging our tail, sniffing the ground. And hunting? Well, sure. You see, hunting as a pack makes it a whole lot easier to get food. And a well-fed wolf is a happy wolf. Mm. Ooh, that wolf doesn't look so happy. Yeah, just look at those teeth. Oh, that's just Ricky practicing his snarl. His snarl? Sure. Snarling is an important part of being a wolf. It is? Yep. Snarling is one way a wolf lets other wolves know he's tough. Well, why does he have to do that? Well, so that there aren't any fights. Uh, we wolves don't like to fight with each other. It's too dangerous. Uh, we sort of snarl and wrestle. It lets all the wolves know who's in charge. <laughs> well, can you snarl too, Johnny? Mercy, yes. Oh, watch this. This here is my snarl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, now, relax, fellas, relax. Let's just watch some of the other wolves. Okay. Well, now, why is it so important for one wolf to be in charge? Well, when you live in a group, somebody has to be the boss. Uh -huh. And that's mighty important when we go hunting. Working together as a pack, we can hunt quicker and get more food. Well, knowing who's in charge helps you to hunt better? Right. It means we can take care of business. Hey, what's that wolf doing? Itching for fleas? No, that's Carl. He's rolling in my scent. You see, when one wolf in the pack wants to be more like the leader, he tries to pick up the leader's smell. Yep, Carl knows I'm the leader of the pack. Whoa. Hey, Johnny? Uh-huh? Oh, does your wolf pack have meetings once a week or every other Thursday or something like that? Oh, no, no, no. We stay together for almost the whole year, Ooh. even in winter. Hey, say, those wolves look different from the ones we saw before. Is that a different kind of wolf? Oh, no. Those are the same kind of wolves. It's just that in the winter, our fur gets thicker and it changes color so that we can blend in better with the snow. Oh. Well, is your wolf pack accepting new members? Why, you want to join up? Well, it sounds neat. Uh, well, son, I'm afraid you have to be a wolf to join a wolf pack. Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, but don't be disappointed, son. You're welcome to come to one of our dances. Dances with wolves? Yeah, you can come along too, Jake. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Johnny, and, and thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. Oh, gracious, and a time. See you soon. <laughs> and now, here are some more wolves on Baby, Baby Talk. <laughs> Yeah. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah, I can hear your tummy growling. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, Mom? Mom, we're yeah. starving. Yeah, is it lunchtime yet, huh? Yeah, when is our food gonna be ready? Yeah. It's not ready yet. You know I have to digest it a little first. Otherwise, you'll choke on the big pieces. Oh, we won't choke, Mom. Promise. Oh, come on, Ma. We're too hungry to wait. Yeah, let's see if it's ready, please, Ma. <laughs> it's not ready. Take my word for it. But but it won't be long. Now let's look for a place to put it when it comes. Well, all just right? put it right here. Yeah, yeah. Nice um, spot. Well, what, what about here? No, 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 here, here. I'm, I'm so hungry. Please, please just say it's ready, huh, Ma? It, it'll be only a few more seconds, trust me. Oh, come on, hurry up. Ma, put it anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. It anywhere. Matter. Just hang on, hang just on. Just as long as you drop almost it. Almost ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Yeah, she's gonna drop it. All there right, lunch is ready. Yeah, it's going to come right it's here. Coming. It's coming. Right. I just okay. hang yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Yay, my favorite. Oh. Oh, perfectly digested. Oh. Thanks, Mark. It's delicious. Ooh, there sure are lots of good things about living in groups. That's right, but wolves and baboons aren't the only animals that live in groups. They aren't? Just watch. I am feeling very happy today. I am very, very smart. So obvious, we're so different. Can't you tell us all apart? We are not at all the same. Let's see how well you pay attention when we tell you. We are different, we are different, we are different. We are different, we are different, we are different. I am feeling very happy today. I am very, very smart. It's so obvious we're so different. Can't you tell us all apart? We are not at all the same. Let's just see how well you pay attention when we tell you. We are different, we are different, we are different. We are different, we are different, we are different. We are different, we are different, we are different. We are different, we are different, we are different. We are different. Well, Stinky, I hope you're not disappointed that the wolves wouldn't let you join their pack. Well, maybe the baboons will let me join their troop. I'd make a good baboon. But you're a skunk. You think they'll notice? <laughs> Tizzy's here! Oh, Hello, Tizzy! Hiya, hiya, Tiz. Time for a quiz? Yeah, of course it is! Ooh. And the question, which animal can be heard farthest away? Is it an animal that lives on the land or in the sea? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz! Something about far away? I don't know. I don't remember. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Tizzy, this one's got us dizzy. Now, can we hear the question again? You sure can. Here it comes. Whoa. Yeah. And the question, which animal can be heard farthest away? And the answer is an animal that lives at sea. The call of the humpback whale can be heard hundreds of miles away. Just listen. That's a whale. He ain't made it, because it's true. Humpback whales make many different sounds. They use these sounds to find their food by echolocation or to communicate with each other. Some of the low sounds can be heard by other whales right across the Pacific Ocean. Humpback whale songs can be quite long and complicated with parts that repeat. Only the whales know exactly what these haunting sounds mean. If they mean anything. Maybe they're just singing. Unfortunately, the oceans are so full of noise now because of all the ships that the whales are finding it hard to hear each other. Well, if it was the animal that can be smelled farthest away, I know who would have won. Yeah, so do I. <coughs> uh, now it's time for our very own Eve Saint La Roche. Take it away, Eve! Oh, bonjour, 
Bonjour, my petit ami. Now, today, I am going to show you where to find the best fleas from the baboon. Oui, follow me. Ha. Now, if you want to be smart, you have to try the fleas from the baboon's head, like so. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Ooh, those are smart fleas. I thought the answer was nine. <laughs> now, if you want to be funny, try the fleas from here. The baboon's funny bone. <laughs> See? A laughing lovely bite. Now, if you want to be a singer, you must try the fleas from here. The baboon's throat. Ooh. Oh, beautiful, no? I have all their records. <laughs> but the one thing that you must keep in mind is that you must eat the fleas before they eat you. We. Oui. Yeah. Oh! Ow! Oh! 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 Well, well, well. Uh, bon appetit, mes amis. Uh, and remember, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. Oh! 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 Thank you, Eve. And now it's time for our next guest, another animal that lives in a group. Mm. Here he is, all the way from Africa. Africa! Basco the baboon. Baboon! <laughs> Here I come, all the way from Africa. I'm here to please, and I brought my fleas. Well, good to see you, Basco. <laughs> yeah, hiya, Basco. Oh, please call me Basco. We just did. Oh, well, feel free to continue. <laughs> hey, Basco, can I join your troop? Yeah, we'll have to see about that. But I must tell you, being a baboon is the greatest thing there is to be. Mm. Oh, 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 you see? We baboons live together in peace and quiet, sharing the land and taking care of each other. You protect each other? Oh, yes. That's an important part of living in a group. The bigger, stronger baboons help to defend the smaller baboons from danger. Whoa, cool, baboon back riding. <laughs> oh, yes, and even the little baboons enjoy nibbling at the food we find. Uh, that's my sister's boy, Ben, <laughs> a resourceful lad. Well, how many baboons are usually in a troop? Oh, there can be as few as ten baboons, or there can be hundreds. Whoa, any skunks? Um, not that I recall. Uh, well, <laughs> with all those baboons living together, there must be some fights. Fights among baboons? Never. Well, now you mention it, <laughs> every now and again, some member of the troop will have a bit of a misunderstanding. Well, why are they fighting? Oh, well, when you live in a large group, there will be fights, usually to determine who is the head of the troop. Do these baboons ever hurt each other when they're fighting like this? <laughs> oh, not usually. We just chase each other back and forth, bear our teeth and howl. Well, those teeth look very sharp. Oh, yes, they are. We baboons use them to defend ourselves against other animals. But we hardly ever harm each other. Now, what is that baboon doing? Ah, now what you see there is one way we baboons avoid fights with each other. The baboon is presenting its posterior. You mean its backside? Backside, bottom, whatever. Why do they do that? Well, when a baboon presents its tail to another baboon, it simply means they don't want to fight. It means that they accept that other baboon as leader of the troop. Oh, oh, it's something like the wolves rolling in the scent of the leader to show that they're loyal. Yes, something like that. Oh, gee, I don't think I'd make a very good member of your troop. Why is that, Stinky? Oh, well, you see, when I put up my tail like <laughs> this, you know, other animals just sort of run away. Oh, oh, good point, Stinky. Hm. You know, I could go on for hours about the joys of living together with the baboons. Hmm. It's a fine life, particularly for the young baboons. Oh, here are some playing on one of our recreation facilities. <laughs> that looks like a termite's nest. Of course, a perfect place to climb. And the termites don't seem to mind. What are they playing? Oh, they're just jumping around and picking fleas. Any animal that lives in a group has to get used to living with the rest of the troop. And playing is a great way for the young baboons to learn to get along with each other. That's right. We need each other to find food, to defend ourselves from other animals, and, of course, to groom each other. Jake, would you like me to groom you for fleas? Uh, no, that's okay. I, I don't really have fleas. <laughs> oh, we'll have one of mine. Oh, no thanks, Basco. But, but uh, how about uh, singing us a song? Uh, what's it about, fleas? No, it's about living together in a group. Ah. And Ooh. here's Basco the Baboon singing the Baboon Song. Now, 
Africa is where I call home In the bush and open country where I like to roam But there's a good reason I may be running in a bunch To want to be delepid or deny at lunch I'm an old world monkey, that's what I be Like to eat all the leaves from the big tall tree Yes, I feel quite happy in my habitat But tell me what you think about that Baboon Baboon Oh yes, baboon A mother come and look at me big baboon Baboon Oh baboon Baboon Papa come and look at me big baboon Oh we love the baboon Love to hang in the sun, having fun with the troop With my body upside down and my tail in a loop Well to you I maybe look like a funny one to see But long ago you might have looked a lot like me Baboon, I really love it Baboon, can't get enough of it Baboon, mother come and look at the big Baboon Baboon, oh, waha, 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 Baboon, yaka, 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 Baboon Father, come and look at the big baboon. Way to go, Basco! Well done, Basco. Mm, uh, Any time, call me if you want some fleas. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Mm. Uh, hey, hey, what, what do we do now? Oh, uh, time for howling. Howling? <laughs> Not you, Stinky. Oh. On Animal Awards. Oh. And now it's time for... Animal Awards! Today's award is for Loudest Howler! Whoa, 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 whoa. not so loud, huh? I got very delicate eardrums. Oh, sorry, will it be? The Grasshopper Mouse. Or the Wolf. Or the Howler Monkey. Mm. Yeah. Howling into third place is the Grasshopper Mouse. In second place, the wolf. So the winner of the Animal Award for Loudest Howler is the Howler Monkey, whose howl can be heard for miles! Congratulations, Howler Monkey! Yeah, but uh, keep it down, huh? I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Oh, wow! Oh, I wish I could howl as loud as a Howler Monkey! I'm glad you can't. Why? Well, because it's time for a story. Oh, oh cool. Mm. Once upon a time, mm -hmm. there was a beautiful snow monkey named Suki. Now, one day, Suki decided it was time to get her lovely thick coat cleaned. But when she got to the Snow Monkey Health Club, she found it was very crowded. Mr. Mallory Monkey was getting the deluxe coat cleaning special and wouldn't be finished for at least half a day. Suki's friend Izzy was having a combination bath and flea removal. And even though Mrs. Misha Monkey was just having fleas removed, her best friend, Shuby, was waiting to go next. Oh, I'm never going to be able to get my coat clean today, she said to herself, unless I do it with my own little hands. Oh, dear. Oh, you won't have to do that, said the older snow monkeys. If you line up over here and clean somebody else's coat, somebody will clean your coat. Don't worry, I'll do it, said Baby Bina just as soon as I finished with my moms. So Baby Bina did Suki's coat and the snow monkeys all lived cleanly ever after. The end. Whew. Gee, I wonder if those snow monkeys would let a skunk join their health club. Hmm, I don't think so. They probably have a no stinking policy. Huh. Gee, what fun is that? Twinkle, twinkle, little bird. How I wonder what you've heard <laughs> up above the clouds. It's habitat time! Ollie, you ruined my song. Song? Armstrong, I didn't know you could sing. Of course I can sing. All birds can sing. Oh, go and sing for me then, no, please. No, I don't feel like it now. Oh, please, Armstrong. No, no, I, I've peaked. You've beaked? Peek, peek. Oh. Uh, never mind. Don't, don't we have some kind of habitat to visit or something? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. You're right. Today, we are going to see the Spanish Plains. The, the Spanish Plains? Where? Madrid Airport? Madrid Airport? No, Armstrong. Oh. Ah, in the oh, center of Spain. <laughs> These are the Spanish Plains. Oh, oh look, Ali. Uh, look at that great big thing there. 
That's a black Spanish bull, Armstrong. Oh, and there's one beautiful heron. Twinkle, twinkle, little boy. Armstrong, oh, you're one. singing. I am not. What's the heron? Uh, what's it waiting for anyway? Huh? Hey, honey, I'm over here. First of all, it's a gray heron, Armstrong. And second of all, it's not waiting for you. It's waiting for a fish. A fish? I'm losing out to a fish. Exactly, Armstrong. There are lots of ponds here where herons get fish and frogs to eat. And there's that bull again. Hiya, bull. Oh, forget that bull. Who is that? That's a hoopo. That's because they sound like this. Hoop, hoopo. Hey, 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 hoop, hoopo. Hoop, hoop, hoopo. Hey, hoopo. Shh, Arm, Armstrong, oh, Armstrong, uh, you might scare the wolves away. Wolves? Oh, I don't want to mess with no wolves. There aren't many wolves left here on the Spanish plains. The farmers don't like them because they kill the farm animals, so they try to get rid of them. Well, maybe that's why they look so mad, huh? Oh, whoa, what is that? It's a wild boar. Ollie, Ollie, don't look now, but I think it's chasing us. Oh, uh, 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 don't worry, Armstrong. He's probably just looking for something to eat. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Wild boars spend most of their time rooting around for tubers or roots or just about anything edible. Uh, uh, chicken hawks? Oh, it's not chasing us, Armstrong. He just wanted to get to that fish. What fish? That fish. Ew, that is what I call one stiff fish. I guess wild boars like tubers, roots, and fish sticks! <laughs> fish sticks! Oh, <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, how long are we gonna sit here and watch this thing eat? Oh, well, well, listen, can we have just one last look at the beautiful scenery, and then we'll go home? I'm getting nauseous. This is Ollie! And I'm strong. Back from the Spanish plains! Ollie! Ooh, guess you know what time it is! Dizzy Ooh. quiz time! What's the quiz, Tizzy? Here it is! The question, why do some fiddler crabs have one big claw? Give it a think, I'll be back in a buzz! Fiddler crabs, one big claw, why? How should I know, I'm a Pisces. Ready for the answer? Well, uh, Tizzy, we're ready for the question again. Please. Here it comes! The question is, why do some fiddler crabs have one big claw? And the answer is, the male fiddler crab has one big claw to scare off other male fiddler crabs. Be even! Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Goodbye! See you later. And merci to you, Eve. <laughs> Au revoir. You are... And a special thanks to Johnny the Wolf and uh, Basco the Baboon. Bye! <laughs> Are you disappointed you couldn't join the Wolf Pack or the Baboon Troop? Nope, because I'm with the best group of all, Jake. I'm with you. Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you, Stinky. And to all you little animals out there, until next time... Keep on flapping, swimming, hopping... And seeing the world through the eyes of animals. animals. Bye! So long! <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs>